I am grateful to God for the opportunity I've had to serve my country. Um, I, I, you know, life is a journey. This is a journey. I, I have had to, when during this uh, electoral cycle, defer some of my ambitions to be able to do what I am doing right now because you cannot pursue certain ambitions and do what you are doing. You know, you cannot do two things at the same time. And actually, I am flattered, you know, when a lot of people ask me uh, why I didn't run for president or why I should run for president. I've had this and I'm sincerely flattered and I thank those who think uh, that way. But as I say it uh, to you, and I think it's good to also respect my views because I am also an individual human being. Uh, this journey continues. It hasn't stopped. I may have deferred some of my ambition to be able to do what I am doing right now and continue to do the things I, I need to do. But we continue on this journey and on this trajectory as it were uh, of public service. Where, whenever and wherever I am called uh, to serve my country, I, I always will answer yes. Because as I said before, there is nothing more noble than to be asked to serve your country. Whether you are being asked to serve your country as a watchman, as a police officer, uh, as a cabinet minister or as president. I am grateful to God for the opportunity I've had to serve my country. Um, I, I, you know, life is a journey. This is a journey. I, I have had to, when during this uh, electoral cycle, defer some of my ambitions to be able to do what I am doing right now because you cannot pursue certain ambitions and do what you are doing. You know, you cannot do two things at the same time. 